If you have your Bibles with you this morning, my friends, please turn with me to the word of the Lord found in the book of Psalms 28 and beginning at verse number seven. That's Psalms 28 and beginning at verse number seven. The Bible says, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am healed. Therefore, my heart gladly rejoices, and with my song will I praise him. I'd like to talk to you today for a few moments here, my friends, a song of praise. A song of praise. The day, in, in today's society, my friend, we sing many songs, and we sing many melodies in our lives. But when there comes a time within your life when the enemy is bombarding you and coming against you and the enemy is attacking you and causing you to think negative about the will and the power of God, it's time for you to get you a song out of Zion and begin to sing your song in Jesus' mighty name. I'm not talking about uh, having you a song, my friend, that may be a popular song. Mm -hmm. It may not be a popular song. It may be a song that's specifically designed for you and for your life. Mm -hmm. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. All of my help cometh from the Lord. And my friend, today's society uh-huh, where people are singing songs that are able to lift heavy burdens and able to bind up the forces of the works of the enemy and pull down the works of the devil and call the devil to free and to scatter in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord is ready to, to take every burden that you have, every problem that you have, every difficulty that you have, every situation that you have, he's ready to take it today in Jesus' mighty name. Mm -hmm. But my friend, you got to begin to sing the songs of God in these last and in these evil days. You got to begin to sing the songs that will lift up the heavy burdens uh -huh, out of the mind of the people. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You see, you know, I like the new songs and some of them I like and some of them I don't. Uh, understand them, but I, I'm not coming against them. But my friend, I'm talking about the songs, you know, that go way back and way deep down. Like, I know it was the blood. Mm -hmm. I, I know it was the blood. I, see, my friend, there's something about the blood of Jesus I, and the power of the Lord. I, you can begin to sing that particular song I, and it would lift you up out of the burden or the problem that you may be in. See, my friend, the Lord, he's ready to take all of your problems, every bit of your problems, every situation that you may have, every problem that you may have, God is willing and ready to take it today in Jesus' mighty name. Mm -hmm. See, that particular song, there's power in the blood. There's power in the blood of Jesus. And I know it was the blood. And what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. My friends, you got to go down to Zion. Hallelujah. And get you one of them Zion songs. I'm not talking about remixing it. I'm not talking about fixing it up. I'm talking about singing it the way it was originally sung. I'm talking about singing it the way grandma may have sung it. Hallelujah. Or in them old days, my friend. Where all they had to, uh, to, to keep the melody or to keep the beat of the music was a tambourine or a washboard. See, many of you don't know nothing about those washboards. But I know about those washboards. Hallelujah. And my friend, I'm talking about getting close to God. I'm talking about getting close to the things of the Lord. I'm talking about getting close to the word of God. Look here at the word of the Lord, my friend. The word of the Lord, my friend. The Bible says the Lord is my strength 
and my shield. Huh? Do you need to be shielded huh, from the works of the devil? Huh? See, the devil is coming on your life in many, many ways. Huh? He's got many obstacles huh, that he comes uh -huh, and puts in front of you huh, and tries to stop you huh, from lifting up the name of the Lord huh, and from calling huh, on the power of God. Huh? Mm -hmm. See, my friend, huh, I don't know about you today, huh? amen, but some of those new songs may not bring you out. Huh? They may stir up your flesh huh? and they may uh -huh, make you feel good for a few minutes. Huh? But my friend, I'm here to tell you, huh, those old songs, huh, when you go back into the Zion songs, huh, the songs of Zion, Hallelujah. Huh? They begin to uh -huh, get down in your spirit huh? and they begin to, you know, uh -huh, begin to bring you up out of the problem that you are in. Hallelujah. Huh? My heart trusted in him. Huh? I put my trust in God huh? and I lean and depend on the Lord. Huh? I put my trust in him huh? because I know that God is able to deliver me huh? whatever the problem may be, huh? whatever the situation may be, huh? whatever it may be. And, huh? God is able to deliver, you, to deliver me huh? and set me completely free. Huh? Mm -hmm, huh? See, I know it was the blood huh? and I know that there's power in the blood of Jesus and what a mighty God we serve we serve a God that's got all power in his hand and he's and he's able to deliver he's able to set you completely free whatever you're going through today my friend get you a song Start go, go get you a song out of Zion there's many songs in Zion that you can get that will bring you out of the condition or the situation that you was in that you were in I remember years ago I knew an older lady she used to hum all the time she always had a, 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 a hum mm hmm and she was humming the songs of Jesus. Nobody, I believe, could hum like she could hum. Hallelujah. My friend, you may not be able to carry a tune. You may not even know what key you are in. Hallelujah. But when it comes to bringing you out of whatever you are in, hallelujah, you can sing your song. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. You can sing your song. Lord, I just want to thank you. Because you've been so good to me. See, there's some out there today know how good God has been unto them. And they put their trust in the Lord. They put all of their confidence confidence in God huh? and they put all their trust in the Lord. Huh? Have you ever had to put your trust in God? Huh? Mm -hmm. Have you ever had to rear back huh? and put your trust in the Lord? Huh? My friend huh? and the Bible says huh? and the word of God says huh? and I am healed huh? because huh? of the word of God. Huh? I am healed therefore huh? my heart gladly rejoices. Huh? Rejoice in the Lord huh? always huh? and again I say rejoice. Huh? My friends, huh? see when you begin to rejoice in God and you begin to sing the songs of Zion and you begin to sing those worship songs you begin to sing those songs that will bring you up out of the burden that you may have been carrying my friend I don't know about you today but I've been burdened before I've been pressed down before my friend and I had to get into the word of God and had to find me a Zion song hallelujah because I told myself I'm not going to allow the devil to take my mind. No. So I had to find me a song out of Zion. I had to find me one of those Zion songs. Hallelujah. I thank you for the word of Almighty God. My friend, the word of God will bring you out of whatever you may be in. Whatever the condition, whatever the problem, whatever the situation that you may be in, the word of God will bring you out. Look here at the word of God, my friend. The Bible says, and with my son, Song, huh, will I praise him? Huh? I'm going to give my God the praise huh, with my song. Huh? I'm going to sing praises huh, unto my God. Huh? I may not sound like you want me to sound. Huh? I may not can sing like an angel. <laughs> I may not can sing uh -huh, like some of the recording artists on today. Huh? But my friend, huh, my Bible tells me huh, that Jesus, huh, he loves to hear me praise him. Huh? Jesus, huh, he loves to hear me worship him. Huh? Jesus, huh, he loves to hear me magnify him. Huh? Jesus. 
He loves to hear me give him the glory. And as I give him the glory with my song of praise, as I sing my song of praise, I give God the glory and the honor. See, my friend, I'm back from the time where I hear the songs. Walk in the light, the beautiful light. Somewhere the burdens will be heavy on you. And when you begin to sing the songs of Zion, they begin to lift up off of your shoulder. Everything that you've been carrying, all the burdens and all the problems that have been on your shoulder, they begin to lift because you begin to lift up the name of the Lord. See that song, Walk in the Light, the Beautiful Light. My friend, you can just sing it, sing it to yourself. You say, well, Elder McCray, they don't sing those kind of songs like that no more. Huh? They don't sing huh, those songs like that no more. Huh? But my friend, huh, you got to go back. Mm -hmm. You got to go back huh, into the things of Almighty God. Huh? You got to begin to wonder in your mind huh, uh -huh, huh, how it used to be huh, when those old folks huh, you didn't have anything. Huh? They didn't have a Hammond organ. Huh? They didn't have a piano. Huh? They didn't have some of the electric. They didn't have none of the electric keyboards huh, that we have today. Huh? They didn't have an amplifier. Huh? They didn't have huh, a guitar. Huh? All they had, my friend, huh, was a washboard huh, and their hands huh? and even maybe a tambourine huh? mm -hmm, huh? I have you do you remember the big bass drum huh? and all they had was a big bass drum huh? and everybody began to sing their song huh? mm -hmm, huh? see the word of God said you're supposed to go into the house of the Lord with a testimony huh? and a song of praise hey glory to God huh? when you sing huh, your song of praise huh? your burdens huh, will begin to lift huh, up off of your shoulder huh? and everything that you have been carrying huh? everything that you have been carrying on through the week mm -hmm. and even through life it will begin to be lifted up off of you see when you lift up the name of the Lord and when you give God to praise you don't have to sound real good you don't have to sound real wonderful all God is requiring of you to do is to open up your mouth and he said I will fill it up mm -hmm. I will fill it up and I will begin to bless you as you begin to sing your song of praise huh, unto me. Huh? A song of praise, my friend, huh, is a song between you and God. Huh? It may not be for everybody. Uh, hallelujah. That song may not be for everybody. Huh? See, walking the light may not be for everybody. Huh? It, may not, it may be just for me. Huh? Mm -hmm, huh? But it may be for somebody else. Huh? But when we testify huh? and we give God the praise huh? and we give God the glory. Huh? Mm -hmm, huh? See, I hear uh, all those songs. Huh? I hear another yes, Lord. Huh? I hear another yes, Lord. Huh? And Lord, I owe, I owe you all the praise. Huh? My friends, these songs like that huh? will begin to lift you up out of the problem huh, of your situation. Huh? I owe you another yes, Lord. Huh? I owe God a praise. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? See, songs like that, my friends, huh? it will lift you up huh, out of the burden huh, that you may be carrying on your day. Huh? Mm -hmm, huh? I'm not saying nothing bad about the new songs. Huh? I'm not saying that the new songs can't bless you. Huh? I'm not saying that the new songs can't deliver you. Huh? But my friend, I'm here to tell you, huh? you got to find yourself a song. Huh? Get yourself a song of praise. Huh, and begin to praise God. Huh, begin to worship Him. Huh, begin to magnify Him. And begin to give Him the glory and give Him the honor. Huh. See the song of praise. Huh, it know what it does, my friends. Huh, it runs the devil off. Huh, it runs that demon off. Huh, it runs that devil out. Huh, and it brings in the joy of God. Huh. Mm -hmm, huh. See, we need joy in our lives. Huh. See, we go through so much trouble. Huh. We go through so much problems, huh? and then there's no joy. Huh? When you come to church on Sunday mornings, huh? you ain't got no joy. Huh? All of your joy huh? has been drained out of you. Huh? But my friend, I'm here to tell you today huh? that you got to get you a song of praise, huh? and you got to begin to sing your song, huh? and you got to begin to worship huh? and magnify you the name of the Lord. Huh? Mm -hmm. huh? Hallelujah. Huh? You can begin to sing your song, walk huh? in the light, huh? the beautiful light, huh? Somewhere huh, the burdens huh, begin to lift off your body huh, and it begin to lift up off your shoulder. Huh, it begin to lift up off your light. Huh, it begin to make you feel lighter. Huh, hallelujah. Huh, because you are lifting up the name of the Lord. Huh. Look here at the word of God one more time, my friends, out of Psalms 28 and 7. 
The Bible says, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am healed. You can be healed by just singing your song. You can be healed and delivered by just singing your song. Therefore, my heart gladly rejoices and with my song will I praise him. With my song, I will praise them. I will praise him. See, it may not be your song. My song may not be your song and your song Song may not be my song, but my friend, I'm here to tell you that as you sing your song of Zion, and as you lift up the name of the Lord, and as you give God the praise, and as you give God the glory, and as you give God the honor, and as you begin to worship Him, as you begin to magnify Him, as you begin to lift Him up, I'm telling you that problem that was weighing you down, that problem that was holding you down, it has to go in Jesus' name mighty name. Because when you begin to lift up the name of the Lord, and you begin to give God the glory, and you begin, I feel like shouting right here, right at the radio program, hallelujah. And when you begin to give God the praise, and you begin to call on the blood of Jesus, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. Hallelujah. I know it was the blood of Jesus that delivered me. I know it was the power of God. There's power in the name of Jesus, and bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My friend, when you begin to get you a praise song, get you a song from Zion, and lift up the name of Jesus, and call on the name of the Lord, and begin to bless your holy God. And don't worry about how, see, sometimes, I remember years ago, I used to worry about how people thought I sound like him. And I know everybody, every one of us have that problem sometimes. We worry about what people think and how they feel. But my friend, when I'm singing my song to Jesus, hallelujah, when I'm singing my song to God, do you not know that God is pleased? You may not be pleased, but my friend, when I sing my song to the Lord, hallelujah, I may not know the melody. I may not can remember all of the words, but I know what in the light has lifted my burden and has made me feel lighter and I feel better by lifting up the name of the Lord. I feel better by giving God the praise. See, my friend, back in old times, when they didn't have anything, and they begin to sing and give God the glory, and they begin to sing and give God the praise, and they begin to sing and give God all of the honor. It starts with one person, and then a match is lit, a match is lit, and they begin to break forth, and everybody else begin to catch on. See, my friend, I remember those old songs. God don't need no matches. He's fire by himself. Oh, glory to God. He's fire all by himself. See, my friend, those songs uh -huh, will lift you up out of whatever you may be in. I'm not saying that the old songs can't bless you. I'm not saying that the new songs, my friend, can't bless you. Because a lot of the new songs, they have great lyrics, and they have great tunes, and they have great beats. But my friend, I'm telling you today that you got to get you a song of praise. When you're going through a situation and you don't know the outcome, you don't know the situation has bothered you down, has weighed you down, you get you a song of praise and begin to praise ye the Lord and you begin to magnify God and you begin to lift him up and you begin to give God the glory and you begin to give God all the honor and you begin to magnify him and he begin to strengthen your body and he begin to heal you and he begin to deliver you. See, I feel deliverance and healing coming to your body right now because I know you got a song of praise down on the inside. I know, hallelujah, that grandma, she used to sing when she she washed dishes. She was the same when she was to, was to wash clothes huh? on a washboard, my friend. Huh? You remember those times huh? mm -hmm, huh? when mama used to get in the kitchen huh? and scramble eggs huh? and got a house full of kids huh? and only got four eggs huh? in the kitchen huh? and she began to hum huh? and sing a melody under God huh? and God began <laughs> uh, to stretch the eggs. Huh? Mm -hmm. 
mm, hallelujah, and God begin to deliver, and God begin to set free, my friend, get you a song, a song of praise that will lift you up out of the burden that you may be in. Get you a song of praise and call on the name of the Lord and begin to give God the praise and the glory and the honor. My friend, until next time, get you a song of praise. A song of praise will deliver you and set you completely free. Until next time, may God bless you and heaven smile upon your life.